Okay, there is another alternative. Alternative to do these questions. Yeah, there's another alternative to do these questions. So let's say uh, the mass of Earth is not provided. Uh, let's say you cannot find the mass of Earth from anywhere. Okay, let's say we don't have the we don't have the mass of Earth. Okay, um, uh, we only have the test mass. We don't have the point mass. So you cannot carry on to use these equations uh, gm over r square to do it. So how do you do? Uh, there is another shortcut to do these questions. Okay, we use the uh, we use what knowledge? We use uh, when r is equal to radius of Earth. That means when you are on the Earth surface, uh, this thing we must know. When you are at the Earth surface, when you are at the Earth surface. Okay, that means the distance is just the radius of Earth. So your acceleration due to gravity is g itself. Uh, let's uh, not, not put a negative g there, yeah? because we don't consider about direction now. Yeah? We just want the magnitude. We just want the magnitude. So ag is equal to g, which is equal to 9.81 meter per second square. Ah, this one we know also. Huh? Everybody knows about this. 9.81 meter per second square at the surface of earth that's the gravity value at the surface of earth ah, okay so for for this one we uh we derive a formula okay it, we use of uh again the okay this is a alternative uh, alternative so ag is equal to gm over r square okay right now our uh, uh, this is the mass of earth okay Point, the point mass right now our on the surface right now if on the surface uh, our our r will become radius of earth our ag will become g understand ah so uh, change it yeah change it to to ag become g and then uh, gm over radius of earth square ah you see that so this one multiplied to the top, we get G R E G R E square G R E square equal to G M. Ah, okay. Uh, so uh, we got an, another another relationship between G M with G R E square. You see that? Uh, so this is what we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use this. We're going to use this. Okay, we're going to use this. Ah, uh, okay. So. Uh, so now we're going to use this to sub the gm here. We substitute with gre square. Use back the the formula before. Okay. Uh, go back to the formula before. Okay. Ag equal to uh, gm over r square. Okay. Uh, right now on uh, on the on the altitude on the altitude, I want to find field strength at the altitude. Uh, so right now uh, ag equal to gm over now at the at the h equal to what at h equal to uh, 160 kilometer uh, at the altitude 160 kilometer ah uh, so 160 kilometer yeah so what is the gravitational field strength at this altitude uh, so here we put what here we put radius uh, r here r again here r is uh, if at, uh, okay if r at uh, this one that means uh, at this altitude that means r is equal to radius of earth plus the altitude remember ah uh, so okay let's let's uh, substitute uh, radius of earth plus altitude square uh, don't forget the square okay uh, right now we the, the the problem is we don't have the mass of earth the, the the question didn't provide us the mass of earth isn't it uh mass of earth it just provide us the test mass uh so if you use a test mass then you are you are damned okay if you use a test mass then you are uh you are trapped yeah trapped by the trick of these questions okay so the the question is the mass of earth is not provided mass of earth is not provided so you have to find other alternative which is using this one ah uh, so we just got a relationship ready. The GM can actually be substituted with GRE square. 
Ah, uh, we so we substitute this one into here. Ah, uh, we substitute this one into here. Understand? Ah, uh, sorry. We substitute this one into here because ah uh, gm is gre square. Ah, uh, let's substitute. Let's substitute. So here we get ah uh, gre square. Ah, uh, gre square over ah uh, radius of earth plus altitude. Okay. Why we can use GRE square? Because this is the thing we know. G is 9.81 at the surface. Uh, at the surface. Uh, so that's why we, we don't know the mass of Earth. We don't know the mass of Earth. But we know the gravity on the surface. Uh, the gravity on the surface is 9.81. We don't know the mass of Earth. Nowhere to be found. Okay. Uh, but we know the gravity on the surface is 9.81. So we use the GRE square instead of G mass of Earth. Uh, we use this one. Okay, so put in this one, and we are free to calculate. Okay, uh, G here is 9.81. Let's put in 9.81, uh, 9.81, and uh, uh, what is the radius of Earth? Radius of Earth is uh, radius of Earth is uh, ah, radius of Earth is 6370 kilometer. Uh, 6370 kilometer. You have to change to meter. Exponent 3 meter. Uh, and then uh, here below is a long long one uh, you know is uh, uh, just copy this one below here okay radius of earth 6370 exponent 3 meter uh, plus the altitude 160 exponent 3 because kilometer also uh, okay square don't forget the square huh? so below here is the same uh, below here is the same. You see that? Don't forget the square. Don't forget the square. Okay, so let's calculate and see. Yeah, let's calculate and see the answer. What's the answer? Yeah, let's calculate and see the answer. Okay. Ah, I got the answer is a uh, nine point three three five. Nine point three three five. Ah, uh, meter per second square or uh, newton per kilogram. Ah, so is the answer correct? 9.335 yeah uh, okay is the answer correct 9.335 9.335 uh, 9.335 oh 9.33 uh, is nearer already yeah nearer to this one yeah compared to the answer before why uh, different why ask why different uh, because uh, actually this value 9.81 is also just an estimate uh, like uh, the mass of earth also I'm not sure is the correct value or not but we are using different value here the mass of earth and the gravity these two value they are not synchronized they are not synchronized that's why we get different value uh, but uh, consider they are near to the actual answer 9.33 is nearer to 9.335 right? nearer huh? because a uh, bit different here maybe because they round up the value in the middle okay uh, this one is more accurate okay so uh, the answer is correct okay the answer is correct 9.33 okay both answer correct this one also correct because we use the mass of earth yeah given okay so that's how we do for the second alternative so this is the first alternative and this is the second alternative if you cannot find the mass of earth anywhere okay thank you uh, use this one use the g gm equal to gre square uh, just substitute this gm with gre square uh, then the mass of earth is gone from the surface of earth <laughs> so the mass of earth is no more there uh, you can use the gravity on the surface 9.81 instead instead of mass of earth okay that's the second alternative bye